There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Alcorcon have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. So we're up and running. Tony Moya. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, good interception. Tries to locate someone up front. And the counter is on. Victor Mollejo. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Chance to break. He's played him through. And the shot! He scored! There is the breakthrough. Pretty simple finish at the end, what do you think, Jim? Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Alcocon have an early lead. Good start. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate. Has a go! They've scored! And they're at it again in double quick time. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. 